Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, today I am vlogging on my phone. I can't find my vlog camera anywhere. So we are doing a lot better than we were doing last time I vlogged. Um, last week was really hard. Um, we had a bunch of Josh's family in over the last week and we did a viewing for his grandmother and then we're doing a funeral later on um, in early July. I am 31 weeks as of yesterday. Anyway, this vlog is gonna be exciting and happy. Um, today's gonna be really fun. Tomorrow's gonna be even more fun. So John and Janelle, Janelle's my cousin who I host the Sesh podcast with. She edits these vlogs. Hi, Janelle. So they got engaged on April 20th. And since then, I have been working with her mom and her dad and our friend Sydney to throw them a surprise party. And it's been really hard to keep this a secret. Um, I am the worst secret keeper ever. So I took care of all the decor for the party and the invites and like getting people there. So that's what I've been working on with Sydney over the past like month. We probably started working on this beginning of May. And we decided to go with a beach theme for the party because they got engaged in Costa Rica and we thought they would love that. So we have a ton of beach themed stuff. I ordered this on Etsy for their cake. It says engaged J and J. I have to go pick up the cake now actually. I'm kind of running behind so I'm kind of talking fast here. I have some cute signs that we printed pictures for. We have to put all this together. Beach balls. Are the, we have tiki torches. We had to go find tiki torch fuel last night. That was a mission. Josh and I went and finally found it at Ace Hardware. And then I got the cutest cake topper stuff. I'm so excited to set up this cake. We're gonna try and make it look like a beach. It has all these little things you can put in it, including these little chairs and little sunglasses. So, super cute. I got some really cute confetti on Etsy for the tables. I think that's gonna look really good. Of course, tons of shells. Here's another little sign. This one says, put a ring on it. And then I got these plates. Then we're gonna put together these little centerpieces, just like the floating water candle situation. I've got a bunch of different colors of these little um, marble things. Marbles and uh, rocks. Fake candles. And then I got some sand. Figure out what to do with those. Probably use them in the center pieces. Good news. I found my camera. It was actually in Josh's truck. Hidden. Yeah, in hidden. A little compartment. Yep. I didn't even check it this morning. I came out here and looked through everywhere and I didn't even think that maybe it was up here. <laughs> now we're actually headed over to Janelle's dad's house to set up everything. Sydney's gonna meet us over there. Okay, these turned out really good. I'm really happy with that. Got this all set up. Say what's up. Hey. Looking good. Wearing my Ohio merch. Yep. <laughs> it's in my car. This is a square tablecloth and a round table. Hey, so. it'll work. It'll work. These are cool. Yep, we got tiki torches. Got them all set up. <laughs> the cake is that working, cool. right? So I'm gonna do like a little grading yeah, effect. Make, sure make it perfect. And we're gonna use this as sand. Too, like, bring brown oh, sugar. To I'm practicing my mom <laughs> skills. I'm so glad Sydney was able to find these sprays. <laughs> I like watching all the shows. Yeah. yeah. The cake was amazing. These are the charms. Do a little like more of this on the side. I, mean, I have tons oh, We need the light. I have like Vision came to life. So cute. Oh, yeah, this is my other watch. Yeah, that this looks nice. So good. She got so a we're thinking this will go on her here. Her telling her tomorrow. stop so telling her to go to the All right, so it's now Sunday. It's the day of the party and I am incredibly nervous. <laughs> I really just don't do well with surprise. I'm literally shaking. My blood pressure has been really high all day, like in the 150s. I feel that it's because of the party, you know, having, I mean, it's just like, I'm gonna see a bunch of people. I'm nervous. I wanna make sure everything goes well. So I'm just kind of chalking it up to like anxiousness because it has been lower the last few days when I've you know, taking it a little more easy. Last night, it was actually really good. It was 120 over 80 going to bed last night, which is great. So I'm hoping it's just, 
you know, the nerves. This blood pressure stuff is not fun. And then I got Janelle this gift, and this was part of my plan to convince her to drive over there with me because I kind of live out of the way, so it doesn't really make sense for me to pick them up, but her dad really wanted me to pick them up so that they would you know, go a certain direction into their neighborhood and not see all the cars. So I told her I had this gift that I have to bring over before the party. So I'm coming over to her house first to give her this. I mean, how beautiful is this picture? I love it so much. So this, I think, turned out really good. And I'm gonna bring that over. I'm sure she's gonna think it's a little weird. She normally catches on to things, but I don't know. I really think they might have no idea what's going on. We'll just have to see. I am gonna go grab a smoothie before I go with some peanut butter for protein and some dates. I need to start eating dates. It's really good for birth, I guess. I think softening things up, I'm pretty sure that's why. I don't know, I need to look more into it, but I keep seeing people talk about dates. I need to eat dates. Okay, just got to Janelle's, and I am I wanted to vlog giving them this little canvas, but I think they'll be suspicious if I'm just like whipping out the camera. I don't wanna be weirder than I already am. <laughs> I don't think that's weird. You don't think it's weird? No, I think it's fine. I mean, you can film. Maybe I'll do it with my phone so it's a little less. Or film me doing it. Or Film you doing it? Give it in film. I don't know. Ugh. All right. My heart is racing. It sounds like a lot of people are there, like almost 30. So I think we're good to go. All right, wish us luck. Close your eyes. It's a new toy. You never think I would get something like this. Close your eyes. My eyes are not closed. Should they be closed? <laughs> Oh, she totally knew. She did. I think so. Fuck. Oh, she's uh, yeah. Well, I yeah. I'm pretty sure she was on to us when we pulled up to the house. She was like way more dressed up than. Yeah. Her. Oh, you think she, before yeah. you even got yeah, there? Even yeah, she, got she's there. looking good to go over for Christmas. Oh, again, that was so cute. Again, again. Oh shoot. There you go. Can you wipe the screen? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so cute! Put it together. <laughs> then you have to smash it in each other's faces. No, no, no. Oh, this yeah. is not a wedding. Oh, no, but it could God. be. It, it could be. That's great. Right. Are oh, you? Shit. Thank you. I almost just lit my hair on fire. I'm the protector. You, you are. Thank you. You want to marry us or not? Yeah, you're ordained? Yeah. Well, good. let's just do it now. Save some money. Yeah. <laughs> no, let's Spontaneous oh. weddings are always the best ones. I know, I That's right. Love. All right, so it is Monday morning. Party last night went really well. They definitely kind of knew what was going on. I could tell by how Janelle was pretty dressed up and she normally would dress pretty casual for like a family dinner. So I knew she kind of was on to us and it sounds like she knew or like thought that there was a chance there could have been a family surprise dinner, but she did not know how many people we invited. So it went great. It was really fun. It was just a really chill evening. It was nice to catch up with people. And yeah, I definitely don't do great with surprise parties though. <laughs> I was so anxious yesterday, it was crazy. Not even nervousness i was a little nervous just like how are we gonna pull the whole surprise off is everyone gonna come is it gonna come without a hitch i was so worried that you know we would pull up and someone would be like walking up to the door like someone random or something like that um but it it worked out for the most part i think most of my blood pressure being so high yesterday is obviously pregnancy but also just excitement but i think we pulled it off and i had a great time and i think they did too anyway is now monday another week we just had our weekly team meeting and now i'm in my office getting ready to record this sesh normally i don't like to do two recordings in one day but lately because my schedule has been so busy and i'm so tired even just showering and getting ready is more and more exhausting i know if you've been pregnant you probably understand um on mondays i've been kind of doing a double header where i record sesh and then i go record for my channel and it's been working out pretty well for me that way i don't know how it'll be once baby's here or like how i'll want to do my schedule i think that's going to be something i'm just gonna have to wait and determine when she gets here you know she gets to you know be part of the decision in a lot of ways of how everything's gonna be so yeah for sesh we are doing a we're tasting a bunch of drinks we're doing that tiktok challenge if you haven't seen it it's basically where you have 
a couple of drinks with straws and you can't see what they are and you have to guess. I'm pretty sure it's called Guess the Drink Challenge. So I'm kind of nervous because I don't know what Corelli picked up. <laughs> we will have to see. And then today I'm recording a family involved video, which are some of my favorites to do. I am covering Georgia Leah Moses and I've been working with her sister Angel on it. Double fisting. Oh my God, this is so <laughs> weird. Vlogception. <laughs> Okay, so we're playing a game that's from TikTok where you like taste a bunch of random shit that you don't know about. And this is Kendall's. Okay, ready? Okay, one of them is definitely pickle juice. I'm like a pickle fiend these days, so I know it. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start here with the green. It's scary. Yeah, it's scary. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> The pickle juice. Yeah. <laughs> That's so good. Is it? Mm. Can you guess what? Mm, it looks is? good. Mm. Oh yeah. What is it? An extra extra point. <laughs> okay, so you get, you get seven <laughs> All right, Janelle's up. Woo. Okay. Pick your poison. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start over here. Is that okay? Yep. Number one. Hit I it. don't have any smell like. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything to me, so I don't think. No I'm, smell points. No, no smell points. <laughs> Ew, I really fucking hate that. <laughs> I'm surprised. It has chia seeds in it. It's one of those like chia snack things. Like those like go-go squeeze things, but with chia seeds. Like the like the chia overnight oats? Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> no, like there's like it's like a purple thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> you cut seeds. <laughs> a chia seed drink. That's all I have. I don't know the brand. A chia seed drink. So close, Mama Chia. Yeah, that's the purple one. Yep. Yeah, the purple package. That's I say she gets the point. It tastes like sweet condensed milk, but it's like watered down. Mm. It's really good. Oh, it's nasty. They know it's really gross watching you drink. Really? Yeah. I disagree. I mean, <laughs> I would like it. <laughs> I'm over here still drinking pickle weird. juice. <laughs> yeah, you're drinking mm -hmm. pickle juice. <laughs> it's gotta be, it's either like vanilla flavored milk. No, it's sweet and condensed milk. I know that flavor. So it's the next morning. Bernie is very anxious, very anxious. Sadie is already with the groomer and Bernie is waiting for his turn. I know, it's so anxiety. He knows her name. Bernie, is Sarah here? You gonna go see Sarah? He's like, what the hell? I'm gonna go hide. I can tell he's been like hot though, so. You're gonna feel better once this is done. Sadie just got finished. Look at you, wow. Wow, oh my goodness. Yeah. How you feel? You feel good? You look like you feel good. <laughs> Bernie just got done. Nice, You dude. look so much better, B. So much better, yes. Oh, hi, Bernie. <laughs> oh, hi, my little You look beer. so good, B. You said it was rough. I was a little mad. <laughs> so today is very exciting. I'm actually gonna go tour the hospital where I'm gonna give birth and see what that situation's all about. And I'm oddly very nervous for that because I'm worried that seeing where I'm gonna give birth is gonna make it even more real and I'm gonna get scared because I have a lot of anxiety around birth right now. I feel like that's pretty normal, but yeah. But I'm excited to like meet some of the nurses, get the rundown, kind of have a better idea of how it will go down to some degree. I mean, to some degree, <laughs> really can't predict much. So we're gonna leave here in about 20 minutes. I'm just anxiously sitting here. And then later today, actually this evening, we have an infant CPR class, which should also be interesting. I'm weirdly nervous for that because it's been so long since I've taken a class of any type, like at least five years. But while I'm just sitting here trying to kill time, I thought I would explain to you guys why we moved. Because so many of you have asked. First of all, when we first bought our house, we, we got some land so that we could build a podcast studio on the property. We had, and some of you will remember this, we had one of the worst real estate agents ever 
who didn't even check what was actually our land, what we could build on. We made it very clear to him that that was like priority number one is being able to create a workspace on the property. Well, it turns out that most of the land that we got actually was unusable because um, it was in a floodplain. So you couldn't build too close to where the water would go if there were a flood. So that made most of our property unusable. And we ended up having to build our studio right in the backyard, which took up a lot of the space that was supposed to be for the dogs and for kids and future stuff like that. There was a bunch of different things. We didn't like having to deal with a septic system and um, well water, which I thought was gonna be nice, but the well is almost dried up and we're gonna have to like, we would have had to replace it soon. So it's just things that were more work than we were willing to put in for our property. We wanted something more easy and manageable. And then another big reason was the actual floor plan of the house. We thought we were really gonna like it. It was a ranch style home. So if you don't know what that means, it's where every, like there's no upstairs. So kitchen and bedrooms are on the same floor and that would have been really hard with a baby. The nursery would have been right next to our bedroom and our kitchen, like right between. And it would have been really hard to keep things quiet when we needed to. So there are many different reasons. Um, we also just wanted to move to a different area. But the main reason really was, <sighs> so two weeks after we moved into that house, Josh was taking a shower and he looks out the window and the SWAT team was raiding our neighbor's house. Turns out that they had a big drug operation there, which we knew something was going on because these people had tarps up instead of curtains on all the windows and they would never have lights on and they would move things during the night, these like giant barrels. So we don't know exactly what they were doing over there. So we kind of thought that was gonna end at that point, you know? A bunch of them got arrested. We thought maybe the house would get condemned because it was in really bad condition. They didn't want anyone to manage their septic system or to um, manage the house. They didn't have electricity in the house and they didn't have running water because they didn't want people to come in and work on the systems obviously and see what they were doing. So the police told us that they were literally going to the bathroom in buckets around the house. So yeah, we thought it would get condemned. It was, the whole house was in a really bad condition in the outside of the house too. It did not. And it turns out that that was the second time it had been raided and that other neighbors have been dealing with this neighbor for a long time. And it seems that it's like a landlord who's pretending they don't know what's going on in the house, but they have like a different crews of people that come through and like do weird things. So for a while there, there were new people in it and the police literally would have to like park on our driveway to watch the house. And there was a new crew there, new group of guys that were really, really honestly creepy. Like one time they, Janelle had parked outside of our house and they like went up to her and were being creepy. And they talked to Josh several times and they were all like fighting amongst themselves. There was like drama. And so that went on for a while until the police kind of made their presence more known that they were watching because they have to get a certain amount of evidence before they can raid it again. So they stopped for a while and it went kind of calm there, but then it picked back up. Now there's a new group of people there. They've got the tarps back up. They've got sketchy like pink and red lighting, like grow lights. They're moving stuff in the middle of the night again. That was always an issue. We would catch them on our video cameras, like moving big barrels in the middle of the night. And so at this point, that house is likely going to be raided again, but it seems like there's really nothing the police can do to like completely shut down the operation because the landlord just says, oh, every renter I give it to just does this. So it's like a tricky situation and we just didn't want to continue to deal with that and have to worry about raising kids there and have all these you know, people walking around. Some of them are friendly, some of them were not. Some of them really kind of scared us. So <laughs> that just became something that was a headache to deal with, you know, feeling like we have to have all these cameras and worrying about them over there and worrying, is it gonna get raided and you know. So it was a mix of all of those things. 
and now we're in a home that we are gonna be in for a very long time. We plan to raise our children here and it's a much better floor plan for our family, for our pets, for our future kids. All right, guys, we're going into the hospital. We are. I'm very excited, actually. Are you? Been waiting for this for a while. I'm excited, but also really nervous for some reason. Yeah. My hands are kind of shaking. I can understand that. Because this is where you'll be given birth. Yeah. Here <laughs> very soon, in less than two months. I just don't understand how it went by so fast. Like, how are we already here? Okay, so hospital tour went really well. I really liked the hospital, really liked their staff, liked the rooms, liked the whole situation, but it did give me a lot of anxiety. It's just, I just can't believe how close we are to this. Let's do it again. Go back to the compression so position. Back, so. so what did you think of CPR Great. Class? Great. I think it's something everybody should know how to do. Yeah. Because you can save a life, whether it's your own child's life, somebody mm -hmm. else's child's life. Yep. And it's really not that hard, right? You just have no. to know the steps and then it's pretty easy to remember after yeah. you do it for a little while. It all kind of came back to me too. We both did CPR training back when we were lifeguards. <laughs> yeah, I was a lifeguard for like three years. I only did two One summers. of the cities here in the Denver metro area and they were like super strict about CPR and like no being really? CPR certified. You had to recertify like every year and did tests on you like at least a couple times a year I only did I think ours was only like one time and it lasted at least two summers yeah ago. a lot of as well and it also was a little more chill what well I you also worked for like a, a summer pool whereas I worked yeah. year-round at an indoor pool like right. a rec center yeah it was good to just refresh and now I feel like more confident we learned also good. you know choking and we also talked about childproofing the house. So it was good, it was a good class, good instructor. It was like two hours long. Glad we did it. Yeah, through the one of the local hospitals here, it was like 20 bucks or something. Yeah. Some of the instructional videos, man, just, it's hard <laughs> not to funny. laugh at them because <laughs> the acting in them is so bad. Well, I'm sure they're not. Low budget. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like today just like made everything more real between the hospital yeah, tour did. and the class. Yeah, definitely. Like even holding the baby model, yeah. the little yeah. dummy baby. Definitely. And seeing you hold the dummy baby, I was like, wow, this is really happening. Yeah, this is really soon. coming quick. It's coming crazy. Anyway, we're gonna wrap this vlog up here. Thanks so much for tuning in as always. And we will be back soon. See you in the next one.